Seward, Nebraska, the state's officially proclaimed 4th of July city. But turning back time, it could have been much different if a bunch of kids and a timely project didn't come to the rescue. There was a meeting to decide whether or not we should continue with our 4th of July celebrations. That was 1968. And Back then, Clark and Mark Colterman and Trish Johnson were part of the Seward High School's Youth Council called the Whiz Bang Kids. They stepped up to take it over. It worked out fine. It was a, it was a, it was a nice celebration. It was good. The event plotted along until 1974 when Trish's dad, Harold Davison, a local furniture store owner, decided to build a time capsule, the world's largest. He felt like Okay, this is for the future, this is for Seward. A 45-ton vault buried in the ground. Bottles of alcohol, the coins, the stamps. Over 5,000 items. My wife and I wrote letters and put them in there. Bikini briefs. Why are these cars smiling? Even a brand new Chevy Vega with zero miles. And Vegas are very happy cars. Its dedication during the city's 4th of July festivities in 1975 drew coverage from the New York Times, even ABC's Good Morning America. National coverage, national coverage. Seward, Nebraska was on the map. It's on our, all of our tourism brochures. Uh, people come up here, take pictures in front of it. In 1983, Davison added a pyramid, another car, and tons of phone books to maintain its standing as the largest time capsule in the Guinness Book of World Records. Which made it larger and acted as a watershed. And so here it's weathered time, still on some national travel guides, attracting visitors like this family from California. Well, this place looks pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's stop and check it out. Davison died in 1999. Trish now lives in the family home next to the capsule. A long time ago, I decided I was best known as the keeper of the crypt. Sometimes giving tours, sometimes shooing away nighttime visitors who try to climb the structure. I can see and hear them out there, and I'll open the window and yell, get off the pyramid. Waiting for the time her father instructed it could be unsealed, July 4th, 2025, just seven years away. I will be seeing Dad as he was in those photos doing something that I thought was the dumbest idea in the world. And of course, now I cherish it. Just like the 4th of July in Seward, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.